I'm Ryan. I'm Spencer. I'm Brendan. I'm Randy. <laughs> we're, we're we just did the photo show. shoot for the Reader's Digest January cover. We're Randy. We're happy. Disco. We're, <laughs> we're Randy. So guys, we're rolling the show. Tell me about the shoot was today. That's pretty incredible to be on the cover of Rolling Stone. Yeah, it was, sure. it was great. It was a fun photo shoot. And, um, great lunch. Yeah, great lunch. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to seeing what they choose. What do you think about um, being on the cover of Rolling Stone? You know, you're in Mexico. Do you ever think that you would you know, be here at a photo shoot for Rolling Stone? Anything? No. no. Can't, really, strange. can't really do much else. Yeah, yeah this I mean. is the kind of the, this is the biggest of the big. Oh, I'm serious. No, I was looking at your foot. Oh. Actually, so. <laughs> he thinks my shoes are funny. <laughs> Yeah, yes. it's. I'm a subscriber, but I'm never home, so I never read it anymore. That's true. I have the the Christina Aguilera cover. Oh yeah, <laughs> who doesn't, right? Just to tell us you know, about the next album that you're gonna write, whether you're gonna write it right after the tour, or whether have you thought about what you're gonna do, you know, conceptually or sonically, do you know kind of which direction you're gonna go in? Yeah, um, well, we have an idea. I mean, it's direction. hard to. Everything we say is kind of bullshit at this point. I mean, because we don't have any songs, like full songs written. Uh, we talked about what we wanted to be about, and I've started writing lyrics, but musically it's hard to say. I think. What about the lyrics? How are the lyrics you know, different in this one, or are they? Um, they're a lot more uh, fairy tale esque, I guess. It's sort of like, I don't know, like a children's story for adults, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah. Brennan's the best, um, of course, like, but uh, me, and Ryan, me and Ryan don't play. Actually. We don't play. We boycott. We boycott. I hate every song on Guitar Hero now. Oh, well, that's weird because we covered one on Guitar Hero. So yeah, well, that's cool. I hate it. Liar. Yeah, kidding. it's kind of a sensitive subject now. Yeah, hey. hey, I'm just kidding. Um, there's, there's just been problems. Really. Yeah, it's just um. Guitar Hero is fun. <laughs> But, but there, it's not fun. But not for doing everyone. it is more it's, fun. It's not fun for everyone else. That and there, there really hasn't been any sort of. Um, we play Guitar Hero and Ryan does vocal warm ups. Each are like equally painful to the ear. Yeah. Except I don't do vocal warm ups eight hours a day. You know. And I smoke hash. <laughs> <laughs> and I smoke peyote. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> I've done it. I guess before. that shows how much we actually know about yeah, what we're talking know. about. Or how much you know. <laughs> really? Nice. I don't even know what the fuck peyote is. Are you from the desert? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but we're like 19. We're I've Native Americans. Peyote. <laughs> <laughs> starting very young with those things. Yeah. The Indians are crazy. When you Um, there's so many things you do on tour that like you get comfortable with, you know, it's like when you're home for a long time, you just want to go out on the road and when you're out for a long time, you just want to go home and, and when it's all over, you know, you kind of miss it and I don't know, we got to know a lot of, uh, the people like, um, we brought out two musicians with us a long time, like maybe, I don't know, nine months ago and, uh, now, you know, we're taking a break, so we're leaving them. We're leaving some of our good friends and people we've been touring with for like a year, so it's... I think you're just going to miss having something to do every day. Yeah, that too. I'll, I'll put, put you to work, man. man. I'll put you to work. <laughs> landscape my yard. <laughs> well, Jenny was saying you guys um, all still live at home, so are you looking forward to hanging out with Mom and Dad? Or tell me about that. Yep. Well... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean... I didn't know she told you that. I have a cat at home. His name is Dylan. Yeah. That's yeah. Because my mom works during the day and my sisters are at school. So I have two golden retrievers to pass the time. I don't have any pets, so I get to walk around the house naked. So I'm more free. The thing so though, if you had pets, <laughs> it's you somewhat walk bad timing around. because the semester's ending and progress reports are coming out soon, so we're all kind of. Fingers crossed, you know? Don't tell her, don't tell her that though. If you get all A's, you get like a week's free rental at Blockbuster. Yeah, it's great. Like for each A, you get a free rental. So do your 
families treat you differently now? You know, or they, 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 they totally try to get like like autographs and they like they totally want us now, like, you know what I mean? My parents like, still make me take out the garbage. Yeah, wow. my like mom before. still yells at me about cleaning my room. So you guys still have chores then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah not, not, n nothing that we can't pay, like, the neighborhood kids to do, though, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, don't pay them. Just trick them into doing it. Yeah. <laughs> trick that's, them into doing it with a licorice. That's, that's a different... Liquor. That's kids love licorice. <laughs> liquor. The kids love liquor. With liqueur. Well, no, that's when they're I gone, mean, you know? Like, you gotta walk around naked. Like, I, if I come home after 12, I still have to make sure I take my shoes off so it's not too loud on the floors and wake everybody up. He stays out late, too. I, well, yeah. Me and what you. you we go out. Stuff like that. Common courtesy. Yeah. Do you guys all live, like, near each other? And how are you gonna be living at home right now? We live, um, we live, like, 15 minutes away from each other, and then we live about 1,500 miles away from Joan. <laughs> yeah. So he's not going to be bothering us very much. But it's cool because we're going to, it's this new experiment. It's like, uh, it's, we're going to have John in the room live via webcam. At all times. Like, in my room, there's a big TV set up. Yeah. HD And he's just sitting in the window like the old time. We're hoping it's a musical to, experiment. We're hoping to soon be able to play shows via webcam. Because <laughs> we don't want to so leave. So we don't have to go anywhere. Just from the safety of our own home. Tor will uh, never be the same. Big screen, lots of speakers. We're actually... Um, yeah, for the last album, I wrote all the lyrics and uh, started the music and then brought it to the rest of the band and we all um, finished the songs together. And um, you guys have known each other since you were five? Do you have about, yeah. Good embarrassing stories from elementary school, like any great, you know, story about each other? I've seen a picture of Spencer completely naked with a <laughs> snorkel on. <laughs> One time, when we were like 10 years old, we uh, were really into making our own fireworks, and we'd take piccolo oh, peats, and we'd hammer them up, oh, yeah. and you'd wrap them in duct tape, and if you lit them, they'd explode. But then we, we filled a big gallon Gatorade bottle half full of gasoline that we put in my lawnmower, and then we, we put tissue paper down and we taped the piccolo peat around the top. <laughs> so we, and we set it, it was like a bomb, and we set it in the middle of the street and we lit it and it, it blew up and it flew over to the, the power box, the gray power box, and, and then it started burning up the side. And then this, this like stripper that lived next door to us had a German shepherd and she walked out the door and was like, what the fuck's going on? The fucking power box is I was running away because I thought the thing was going to explode. And then, and then she grabbed the hose she grabbed and the she hose. put it on and it made the fire bigger. Oh. Yeah, and we were like... Because the gasoline spread and then once it finally Jesus. got out, there was, for the rest of the time that I lived in that house, there was a giant black stain on the side of the power box. And I was just like, when my mom got home, I was just like, God, God damn neighborhood hooligans running around with their... We never know. got in trouble for that, but we probably will now. Any um, antics like that on this floor? <coughs> Pretty much the same thing happened. We lit a person on large scale. <laughs> on stage we did that. No, uh... Our friend Dan got dressed up in a tutu and he weighs about 400 pounds. A bra and a tutu, and he ran out on stage. Yeah. Our security guy ate ten McDonald's cheeseburgers in one oh. sitting. And Easily. Like six McNuggets. Also, Dan ran outside in the middle of Idaho in November in his bathing suit, and he did a made a snow angel in the parking lot. There's a video of it on YouTube. Yeah, I put Dan it up, Angel. I put it up like a, a week ago. Dan it's called angel. Dan Angel Snow Freak. And you can so. check it out. So search Dan Angel Snow Freak. <laughs> Exactly where